Hi Living Fam, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, I'm back with a whole store for you guys and you are going to be absolutely obsessed with this property I'm about to show you. So this property is 35 million Jamaican dollars, of course, because a lot of you in the comments always ask, is this US dollars? No, it's Jamaican dollars. It's in Jamaica and it's beautiful. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom and it's newly built which means nobody has lived here before you're going to be the first person to live here if you purchase this house remember all the information for the realtor is in the description box so go ahead and give her a call if you're interested to come and view this property also remember i'm not a realtor and on that note let's get right into this tour shall we all right so first of all i'm gonna show you what the outside of this house look like because you know so we have to save the best for last right so the outside of this property is the house is on quarter acre of land and it's currently mostly finished as you can see the outside the landscaping work has not been done done yet but uh, be assured that the owner is going to finish it up for the person who is going to purchase this house and move into it so as you can see here um in the entryway from the gate you can see where the concrete blocks are already created and the idea is to actually put the grass in the middle of these so when it's finished it's going to be so so beautiful um when you think about it all of this here is going to be grass basically but it also you have an option guys so if you want concrete to be on this side as well you can get it if you want a portion it to have um grass and dirt or so you can get it done you can also voice your opinion on this as well um the fact that it's being sold right now so it's a nice space it's a very very nice um yard space and uh, this house is uh, less than 10 minutes away from mandeville less than 10 minutes i literally gonna walk around here and show you guys so like i said ignore all of this that you see going on outside it's going to be completed but they want to get it on the market advertised so people can be interested in it so um i like that they have the concrete on the side like a little walkway on the side but this area it's a lovely area it's less than 10 minutes away from mandeville and there are so many amazing development going on here and depending on where you are located um here it's a beautiful view of mandeville so that's one of the nice things about here why huh. like neighbors neighbors here neighbors there neighbors on this side and you also get a good glimpse of what the view looks like back in mandeville yeah that's back in mandeville so depending on where you're located over here in this area it's a beautiful view you get a really nice view um and of course this property has a underground tank for water issues if there's any not sure how things are in this area at all but um provision for water is here and all of this is an additional section to the um backyard all right so this is the good stuff so come let's go inside so first before i'm walking through the back door this time cannot access the front door at this time so this is basically the laundry room so the laundry room is off of the back porch basically so a window needs to go in here but like i said don't worry about it it's gonna all be finished so we have section for your washing machine and also your dryer and you have a space so for a tub as well this is the kitchen first and foremost when i walk into this house i was blown away by the ceiling the ceiling was my first thought and focus i love the beams the black beams whoever came up with the idea of the ceiling yeah they did a thing they really did a thing i love the fact that these areas right here are gonna be like recessed lights i believe and i also like the crown moldings on the wall too with the designs that they have going on there and the kitchen area love the black cabinetry that's in here um the cupboards pantry area 
yeah I really really like it um, you have a lot of storage space as well you have um, three drawers on this side you have a lot of cupboard space you have counter space as well enough counter space stove goes here yeah we have uh, the area that the fridge goes to and we have another counter space over here so we also have an island in this kitchen so it's a small island but it workable all i can see myself doing right now i can prep over here and then cook over there and uh, i was also told that this is movable the island is movable and i can also put like you know those nice like cute bar stools around this you know when your friends come over when your family family in the living room you're in the kitchen preparing something you need to get around this little section here so it's really really nice i love the idea of it and what also sold me on this house again the size of the windows you guys you already know semi love like these big big huge windows so i can see myself um putting like curtain rods i think i probably have to go with a shorter curtain rod for this window here with the arch that goes here but i love how big it is because it brings a lot of light into the space and this one is also another one which is it's currently 2 48 p.m in the afternoon so all of this sunlight is filtering in and it it's nice i really like it so this is the front door to enter into the space there's a main door to enter into the into the house over here we have a half bathroom in here there's no mirror or anything in here yet just the toilet and the sink love the tile work um it's actually very nice i like the tile work it's cute um very different but cute i like the cream it kind of flushes really well with the color of the paint that's in there we are gonna see the first bedroom now so this is the first bedroom um sizeable enough please ignore the stuff that you're gonna see on the door we have a um like a walk-in closet and it's very spacious as well we can actually walk into the closet this section here i think it can be used for maybe a utility room not sure or it can be a linen closet as well so yeah you can put in um your shelves and your storage units to store um all your towels and your sheets and stuff in there we have another bedroom because i had mentioned that this house is a three bedroom house and we have a, another walk-in closet ouch sorry um very big walk-in closet um that you can have a lot of storage space in and uh, i also like the closet doors that already have a like a standing mirror for your selfie you know the selfie vibe already so definitely and here is the bathroom um the first bathroom of course standing shower like how can you not and it has these sliding doors yeah has these sliding doors love the color of the sliding door that they decided to go to with and i also love the tile work here as well and the faucets they're very very different than what you're used to i've never seen this style before that's really cute and it has the shower head as well of course like i said um all of this is gonna be finished don't worry it's unfinished at the moment but don't worry it's gonna be finished um for when you're ready to move in all right so the last room in this house is the primary bedroom and the sweet thing about this primary bedroom first of all the light in here lighting right now in here is impeccable and they also decided to do the same ceiling work that they have going in the living room um in here as well which i think just add a little like it adds so much dimension it adds so much vibe just like a different vibe in here really really like that um 
I can't stress it enough. I really like it. And also these huge windows um, as well that's in here. Well, the bigger one to face the front, this one, a smaller one to the side here. And guys, look at this closet. No, this is what you call a walk-in closet, literally. There are so much things I could do in this closet. Like, my husband could actually occupy this closet with me, if you see what I mean. Because right now in my house, he doesn't occupy it. But anyway, he could actually share this with me. But I can see a lot of storage space, a lot of hanging, a lot of... Um, we call it cabinetry they could actually put in here shoes so much it, it, possibilities endless with this closet this already has um the standing mirror built in but it's me i definitely add another standing mirror in here because mirrors everywhere is a is a vibe over here love 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 the primary bathroom the tile work is actually gorgeous. I like it. I like the difference that they went with, like a marble cut type of tile, just to like balance it out for style, like that. Um, it has a double sink. Yeah, his and her sink. I can see them installing here. Yeah, some storage space as well for the um, under there as well. A mirror is left to go in here as well. And uh, over here, we're gonna have a tub so I'm not sure what the size of the tub is gonna be it's probably gonna wanna it's probably gonna be one of those little small bougie one day where you see in a hotel when you go to hotel not the jacuzzi type you know the one that you can actually lay inside of the tub and then over here we have the standing shower two people can actually hold in here at the same time it's very big also have the same um, faucet design as well and I actually love that tile that they use for the backsplash like it's very nice actually like it um i would have loved if they actually went all the way up to the ceiling with this with with the tile work here but i think it's okay as well all right guys i hope you enjoyed this tour if you did thumbs me up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you like to see more content like this go ahead and subscribe and also thumbs me up this does a lot for my channel so you need to do that leave me a comment what you think of this um house and uh, give the, the real talk call if you're interested thank you for watching until next time living fam i'll see you in the next one bye guys